Shakespeare once wrote, what's in a name? Well, a lot of them are just really old timey, like Sophrona. For Haley Cox. Ava Jean. The answer would be. Velvy. These are a lot of female names. A lot. She is a name collector. I have, I have no clue how many I have. She has notepads and notebooks. Yeah, just full names. Page like after page. Trinidad. Like a lot of people will know that I'm obsessed with it and they'll tell me, they'll be like, hey, I thought of this name or they'll text me names. She finds them in record books, old newspapers, cemeteries. I like to look in recipe books for names. Somebody gave me a bunch one time at a yard sale and my favorite one that I've ever found was Dimple Love. And I think she was from Surrey County. For her, the more unusual the name, the better. And then it kind of developed into like, you know, wanting to know more about the actual person behind the name. So you kind of, you have a name, but there's always a story in their life you know, has told that story. The name is just associated with them and sometimes it's really interesting. <laughs> she started posting the names and the stories behind them on an Instagram account she created called Names with a Story. And I just share them on there. Some of them, even family members, like her grandmothers, Essie Lavina and Beatrice Verda. And uh, I would love to know more about each individual name and the person. She had no idea when she started that an interest in names could turn into so much more. Because I think long term, I would love to, you know, write a book about the names and the people behind the names. Yeah. And especially, I love to find pictures, old pictures. For um, Haley, a rose by any other name would still smell as sweet but it might have a more interesting story. It does start with a name, but I think it's really trying to preserve people's legacy and local history. In Germantown, looking for Roy's folks, Chad Tucker, Fox 8 News.